is my rabbit pickup project. I've had it for like four years now at least and finally just started to hit it pretty hard this this uh, past year started in January so it was a, a late Westy and it's gonna have an early Westy front front end on it I bought a rabbit that was pretty much trashed and I started cutting it up and that's where I got the front clip from I mostly changed changing out the front end because I didn't want the rusty strut towers and and the rabbit ones don't have the extra layer of material on there where the rust starts from the inside out so that's kind of why I'm using this plus it was a lot cleaner than the caddy one I can show photos of that a um, couple other areas I fixed so far is I fixed a patch in here this was rusted out here part of it was due to the front clip and then I had a little rust hole out here I patched uh, on the driver's side I patched a little piece of the the windshield area and yeah so we've been working on this thing it's a long going project started out I cut the whole front clip off this is all new from the firewall forward the sides are new um, then I got into did the so I replaced the driver's pan I gotta fix some areas up there. I didn't really like. Um, this is where I tied in the front clip to the bottom. I had to cut and put in a section there that I cut out when I welded it back. I replaced this, uh, the inner rocker from about here all the way up and welded it in there. Uh, did some patches back here for when I did the bottom section. Then I got to the outside, I did the front half of the rocker, it's done so far, stopped it at where the seam is, and then I have to do the rear, and I did this yesterday, put that in, and before I did this area and the back, I fixed the inner rocker this is all rotted out and the underside backside I did as well I still need to finish that and I need to do the passenger side yet that'll be a different day but today I want to try to finish getting this back half of the rocker fitted up and try to get that on there I have to patch this little area from where I cut this off and I must have cut it up too high I thought I was going to use more of it but I didn't so I got a little patch here and then I got to trim this piece down to fit and then we'll be rolling with that If you ever have big holes to fill and you have some copper, piece of copper, you can put it behind the hole, the big hole, and then weld around it and it will disperse some of the heat into this. That way you don't 
break through. I have a bunch of bigger holes here. I'm gonna tack a little bit at a time, but I have a bigger bigger hole here, so I'm gonna put something behind it so that I can tack to it, let it cool down, tack a little bit more, let it cool down. So that way I'm not trying to fill a big thing and make my hole bigger. So yeah. Piece of copper. trick I've learned is knock down the high spots, do a few welds, knock down the high spots, and then you can go back and fill in spots. That way you're not grinding everything at once. You take a cutoff wheel and then you can just knock down the high spots and then go back with like a flapper disc or something else. You don't want to put too much heat into the panel but at the same time if there was a high spot there and I tried to weld to it it's just going to keep getting higher and higher and make it more difficult to grind so just knock it out grind it down some and then you can weld more to it it makes it easier to, to grind all the way versus having one big giant high spot there so knock them down go back over it that way then you can see the spots you're also missing you can see the spots you're missing and then go back over and fill just those spots Not too bad. I still gotta nip this off because the, the piece that piece that fits in here is gonna fit up against this and all the way over to this corner. I just needed this little bit here so I can cut this off, cut it up there, and then I gotta cut that down to match up to this. So that'll be what I do next. I'm gonna leave it off there, or leave off there I should say. This just needs bent up and then it looks good there. Same with this. I might try to adjust this angle so it's not so steep because it it definitely needs bent a little bit to uh, to match up everything. Plus if I need to I have these things that go like behind behind it and hold it in place so I might use those do a few of them all here get it tacked in drop them out the bottom and then uh, be good but yeah I'm gonna leave it off there all in all I'm pretty happy with the progress I made this weekend like I uh, did this little patch here and then I welded that arch all on and then got this fit in. So once, once this is done, 
I can do this arch, and then I have the back arch, the back rocker. Once this rocker is done, I have the back rocker there, and then this whole side is done. And then I can move on to other things or the other side, and I'll be happy making progress on the truck. So, anywho, if you learned anything, cool. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Let me know how you do it differently. People do different things differently. And uh, these uh, these rockers are all bought from uh, Ray Buck. Uh, these rockers, the floor pan, and this arch. Actually, that's a rabbit arch. It's not a truck arch, so I had to mess with it to make it work. So, anywho, thanks for watching. See you next time.